Yo, what's going on, FG fam? Welcome to another episode of the St. Louis Rams franchise here on Madden 21 Current Gen. Today, we start off with having to place Rob Havenstein on the injured reserve. He is going to be out for the next five weeks. That is going to be all the way to week 11. We are going to trade him away. This is the last year of his contract. We're not going to wait till he comes back week 12 or 13, depending on his injury. We're just going to get what we can for him now. The best offer coming from the New York Giants. So that is where Rob Havenstein gets shipped off to. We will sign Marcus Cannon out of free agency. The 71 overall 34-year-old tackle. We will bring him in as a backup. We'll be starting our rookie there. And Jamal Carter is going to have a chance to upgrade to a star development so looking forward to that if you guys are as well make sure you drop a like on this video subscribe if you're new to the channel at all for the love of franchise content that is literally all we do here franchises in all sports it'll definitely be worth your while as we get set to take on the division rival seattle seahawks here at home in st louis this is a big game jamal carter Looking to score some points against Russell Wilson and those Seattle Seahawks. Let's get underway with this one. This should be a hell of a game, and it is Johnny Hecker to kick it away. The Seattle Seahawks will start with the football, and it is down in the end zone. So full time remaining on the clock, a full 60 minutes of football. Here we go. Russell Wilson, five touchdowns, one interception, 904 yards on the season. And his very first play from scrimmage is thrown right side. Should have been picked off by David Long Jr., but that's why he plays defense. Third and 10, here's Russell Wilson. He's gonna roll to his right and he is gonna take off with his legs. That is the dangerous thing about Russell Wilson. Even if you can stop him from throwing the football, he can still run it pretty darn well. Here he is on first and 10. There's the throw to his tight end and that's gonna go for the first down. Will Disley doing some work across the middle of the field. Eventually, Seattle down here by the 13 yard line. Third and three, that one's thrown incomplete to Tyler Lockett at the one yard line. Seattle threatening, they're gonna give the ball off to Chris Carson and he dives into the end zone for the touchdown. Seattle Seahawks gonna take the early lead, seven zip and Jamal Carter has his opportunity to match. 10 touchdowns, four interceptions. He has 963 yards on the season. Here's Carter surveying the field on first and 10. He's gonna take off with his legs, not as fast as Russell Wilson. He fumbles the football, picked up by his offensive lineman, Spencer Washington, and he will take it to the 47 yard line. So a lucky play for St. Louis there. Here's Carter, left side throw. That's to Bryson Hopkins, who's getting a little bit more action in this offensive role. Here's the throw up the middle and Cooper Cup. What a grab by him at the 17 yard line. You'll love to see it. Third and goal for the Rams. Seven yards away from the end zone. That one's a little inaccurate. Carter gets buried into the ground and the Rams settle for three. 13 seconds to go first quarter. Here's Russell Wilson getting sacked by Daryl Cage. That will take us out of the end of the first quarter. 7-3 Seahawks will be right back. And back for the second quarter. There's Russell Wilson with the throw right side. That goes to Carson. They mark him with a first down on the play. So first and 10 from midfield. Here's the throw. That's intercepted. David Long Jr. this time makes the play on defense, taking it down the right sideline. And Russell Wilson saves the touchdown with that tackle. David Long Jr. though has it down to the five yard line for the Rams. There's the throw and the touchdown. Cooper Cup from Jamal Carter. It is a 10-7 ball game in favor of St. Louis. Third and three. Here goes Carson on the run and he will get to the 35 yard line. That is not good enough for a first down brought down by Tack McKinley. A third and six for St. Louis and that pass is dropped by Larry Hall. So Rams have to punt it away. This one kicked pretty deep. Tyler Lockett going to get it. He has hit a little bit there, but he did not fair catch the ball, but yet there is a flag for fair catch interference. Didn't even call fair catch. 
So, 15-yard penalty. It's going to be first and 10 from the 39. Here's third and five from the 44, and that is intercepted again by David Long Jr. He should have had three today. That's his second one in a half. Here's Carter looking to throw on second and one. This one into the corner of the end zone and out of bounds. Third and one, they're going to give it to Cam Akers. And look at Akers go. He gets to the eight-yard line with a first down for the Rams. They continue to move this football. Second and goal from the four. Carter to the end zone. Touchdown, Jeremy Burley. I know there's a few of you out there in the comment section. Jeremy Burley is one of your favorite players on the channel. Well, he's getting it done here today. Here's Carson on second and 10. He tries to run. He fumbles the football. Picked up by the Rams and Daryl Cage there on the recovery. But we have a challenge by Seattle. Carson, you can see his butt cheeks hitting the ground before the ball pops loose. And that one will go back to Seattle. Third and 10. Russell Wilson looking to run with it. He's going to go, and he's going to throw it deep down the left side. What a grab. What an absolutely tremendous play from Russell Wilson getting that one downfield, and that puts them in the red zone. Third and goal from the eight-yard line. Wilson escaping pressure, throwing it out of bounds, but we've got a flag on the play, and it is a roughing the passer against this Rams defense. They are going to call Tack McKinley on the roughing, gives Seattle a first down half the distance to the goal. 45 seconds left to go in the half. Russell Wilson, middle of the end zone, caught for the touchdown. And that is Gaddis again. Gaddis caught the big pass before. He's going to bring Seattle within three here. There's the throw to Larry Hall. Nice throw from Carter. Nice run after the catch for Hall. But... Time is running out in the half. 34 seconds to play in it. Now 13 left at their own 47. Here's St. Louis. And Carter up the middle. That one's tipped, but look at the catch by Cooper Cup. Look at the concentration. That leaves a shot for Sam Sloman to kick a long field goal. It is good, and we will go into the half 20 to 14. We'll be back. Back for the second half of highlights here in this one. First and 10 for St. Louis. There's a nice play on Cooper Cup on the slant route. What a play. He's got six for 77 in this one, including the touchdown. Jamal Carter going to roll to his right. Looking, and that one just a little out of reach for his receiver. It's intercepted by Shaq Griffin. He takes it to the 43-yard line. Seattle with an opportunity to possibly take the lead. Here's second and 14. Russell under pressure, but he gets it away to DK Metcalf for the completion. And Kamu Grugier Hill on the tackle. Third and eight from the 26. Here's Russell, and he completes another third down throw. That one to Gaddis. Gaddis has been getting open when Seattle needs him to the most. Taylor Rapp makes the tackle. 93 yards for Gaddis, and it's first and goal. And they are going to give it and score with their rookie running back, Dupree. Touchdown, Seattle. And they will take this lead with 4.05 to go in the third. One-point lead for Seattle. Here's Jamal Carter. Carter going to roll a little to his left on third and four, but he finds Cooper Cup deep. Cooper Cup behind the defense. Shaq Griffin giving chase, but he will not get there. Touchdown, Rams. 69 yards. Nice. And now going for two. Here's Cam Akers on the two-point conversion. It is good. Rams take a 28-21 seven-point lead with 2.44 to go in the third quarter. And now Seattle, here's Russell Wilson throwing left side. That one's complete, tried to knock it away. Jair Alexander could not knock that one away from him. And it is complete for the first down. Third and inches, they're gonna toss it out to Dupree, the rookie back, and he is brought down at the 43 yard line. Five runs for eight yards for Dupree. Hasn't been a great day for him. And the Rams would get the ball back. Four seconds to go in the third quarter. Last play of it. Here's the throw. That is complete to Burley and a first down. Brings us to the end of the third quarter. 28-21 in favor of the Rams. We'll be back for the exciting finish. 
Back for the exciting conclusion of this game, second and nine. Here goes Akers, and Akers is stripped of the football, picked up by Seattle. It is Butler on the recovery. Seattle has it in Ram territory. First and 10, here's Russell. He's gonna throw up the middle. He's got Will Disley. That's complete for the first down and more. And the Seattle Seahawks getting close to the red zone. Here is Wilson. He's gonna roll to his left. He is going to throw it deep and that is complete. First down at the 10 yard line. What a throw to Tyler Lockett. A 22 yard catch, his third of the game. He's got a total of 45. Here on second and goal, they're gonna give it to Dupree. Dupree left side, look at everybody just sealed off. He gets the easy touchdown. Didn't even have to work for that score. Seattle ties this thing up with 7.15 to play. Unbelievable. And this one is going to be a hell of a finish with 5.35 to play. Here's Carter throwing left side. He's got Larry Hall for the first down at the 50. At midfield, first and 10. They're going to give it to Cam Akers. Look at Akers breaking free. Nice juke move, and he will get to the 37-yard line with a gain of 13 yards. Rams first down. Now second and three from the Seattle 30. And Carter takes too long to get rid of the football. He is sacked by Yannick Nagakwe. Third and 15. Here's Carter, he's taking a while here. He gets hit as he throws. That one close to being caught, but the big hit by Bobby Wagner jars it loose. Rams had a punt there. Second and one, here's the Seahawks, and there's Dupree! Dupree breaks free to the 46 yard line. Eight runs for 41, he had five for eight yards earlier. Here's another run by Dupree, stiff arming into the open field. And he will not be caught by Jair Alexander. Touchdown Seahawks, 56 yard run for Dupree. And a seven point lead for Seattle. Carter's gotta make this effort to come back. That's a beautiful throw to Burley. At the 47 yard line, 142 to play. Here's Carter, another slant play to Cooper Cup. Those tend to work out really well. And he's got him at Seattle's 38. Now from Seattle's 20, from the red zone on first and 10. Here's Carter rolling right. He's going to take off with the football, and he will duck out of bounds. Flag on the play. Could be a late hit. It is a late hit against Seattle with 35 seconds to play. That will bring the Rams all the way up to the five. Third and goal from the five. Here's Carter looking, throwing end zone. It's tipped. It's intercepted. Picked off by K.J. Wright, and that is going to do it. Here in St. Louis, Seattle comes in and gets the 35-28 victory. They remain undefeated, I believe. They had three takeaways in this one to the St. Louis Rams, two takeaways. Disappointing loss for Jamal Carter. He had been winning a lot of games this season. 24-32 for 321, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Russell Wilson was 22 of 34 for 252. Stanley Dupree, though, he had five runs for eight yards, but then he ended up getting a lot of yardage on the next six runs, over 100 yards on those next six runs, including the big touchdown run, which helped propel, propel geez, this Seattle team to a victory. A couple of picks for David Long Jr. was not enough to help this Rams team to a much needed W in this tough division. So he gave Jamal Carter a shot, but unfortunately it did not work out for him. And he did not get his upgrade chance. So now Jamal Carter staying at home in St. Louis for a battle with the New Orleans Saints in their color rush unis. This is another big game. Saints have been a tough team throughout the franchise. They usually are. And now they come into our house here in St. Louis. We must protect this house. Jameis Winston, their starting quarterback, I believe. Jamal Carter, 13 touchdowns, six interceptions, 1,284 yards. It is time for him to do his thing. Here's Carter. He's going to throw to Akers, and that is complete for a first down at the 38-yard line, first and 10. So... Will the St. Louis Rams use this to their advantage? There's the throw, hit as he threw, Jamal Carter's picked off. 
And that is taken back to the 41 by Danny Trevathan. Here comes Jameis. 15 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, 1,500 yards on his season, almost 1,600 yards. And he's got a first and 10 in St. Louis territory, giving it to Alvin Kamara. Look at him break free. Kamara down the right sideline, and he is finally knocked out of bounds at the 7 with a gain of 41. They will give it right back to him on third and goal, and he will not get there. Nice stop by the Ram defense. Taylor Rapp in on the play. But the Saints are going to go for it on fourth and goal and throw to the end zone for the touchdown. Saints take the early lead. 7-0. Third and one. Carter throwing that one to Higby for the first down completion. Carter's got to get back into the groove of this one. Third and ten. Here's Carter looking, surveying the field. He's going to Higby again. That one's tipped and incomplete. So New Orleans gets it back. Second and three. Here's a throw right side. That one is complete. And now we'll go for a first down and a lot more. Bad tackling by Jair Alexander. Will allow a first down at midfield. Here's Winston on first and ten. Slant route to Michael Thomas. Hey, Michael Slants and a flag on the play. Personal foul roughing the passer. That's going to be even more yardage for New Orleans. Daryl Cage called for the roughing. That would lead to this field goal attempt for New Orleans from the St. Louis four. Good thing the Rams were able to get the stop there, but it's still 10-zip as the first quarter came to a close. Here goes Cooper Cup, and that is complete and out of bounds for a first down. Third and two for Carter up the middle. Cooper Cup again and complete for a first down at the 17-yard line. One more first down before the goal to go situation. Here's Carter looking. He throws to the end zone. Bryson Hopkins complete for the touchdown. Turn a 10-0 deficit into a 10-7 deficit, cutting into that lead. Second and seven play fake. Jameis goes down. Alex Peterson to get there. Nice sack, leaving a third and 17 from their own 18. Here's Winston looking for the deep throw. He heaves one out there, and that's intercepted by John Johnson, the third out there playing center field. And he brings it back to the Saints 25. So an opportunity for the Rams to possibly take the lead here, or at very least tie it. Here goes Akers. Nice cutback. And he will reach the ball out over the goal line for the touchdown. St. Louis Rams take the lead 14 to 10. On the Cam Akers touchdown run with 538 to play in the half. Here, third and 10, here's Jameis. He's gonna throw right side. That's complete to Alvin Kamara. We'll go to the 22 yard line for a loss of three. Not a first down. St. Louis takes over with the football and the lead. Here's a throw, that's intercepted. He was going for Cooper Cup to the well one too many times. Cooper Cup not open on that one. He is intercepted. And it'll be third and 19 here from the Ram 45. So Rams defense holding up pretty well. Here's the throw for Winston. It is not going to go for a first down. This is a 52-yard field goal attempt, and it is good. One-point lead for the Rams with 155 to go in the half. Out comes Jeremy Burley out of the end zone. Nice juke move. He stutter steps, and he will get across midfield with that return. One of the best returns we've seen in the series comes from Jeremy Burley. 14-13, second and 10. Here's Carter. He's going to throw the screen here. Cam Akers spinning away, breaking free, getting past the first down marker into the 20-yard line, gets the Rams into the red zone. First and 10 for the Rams and Jamal Carter here from the 20. 115 to play. Goes up the middle to Cooper Cup, wide open inside the five. And the Rams are in a good position here to extend their lead. Third and goal, however, from the one-yard line. Here's Carter throwing an inaccurate pass. Had Cooper Cup, they'd have to settle for three. It's a 17-13 lead at the half. We'll be right back. And we're back to start the second half. Saints with the ball. Second and eight here. Here's the throw left side. That's complete to Michael Thomas on Jair Alexander, who could not make the stop, but he does make the tackle. Third catch for Michael Thomas on the day. Third and 22, though, the Saints are facing after a big holding call, and that one is a sack by Aaron Donald. I was wondering when we'd hear from Aaron Donald in this episode. 
Second and 11 for Jamal Carter. There's the throw. That's complete to Burley. He picks up the first down at the Saints' 26-yard lines. Rams trying to move the ball, trying to get some more points on the board. Here's Carter, and he takes too long on third and goal. He is sacked by Shy Tuttle. And the Rams would have to settle for three points. 20 to 13, they lead by a touchdown. There's the throw from Winston. He gets it to Michael Slants, I mean Thomas. And that ends the third quarter, 20 to 13. We'll be right back. We come back for the exciting conclusion of this one. Jameis Winston going for it on fourth and two are the Saints. That's the throw and it is incomplete. Nice defense by Jalen Ramsey. Rams take over with the football. Here's Carter throwing the screen to Akers. Akers has room in front of him. Tons of room in front of him. He gets out of bounds on the 27-yard line. And the Rams are in business again. Second and 17 now. Here's Carter looking. He's got Cooper Cup. Complete first down to the one again. Cooper Cup has done that a couple of times today. Getting down to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one. They give it to Cam Akers. Easy touchdown for Cam. And the Rams extend their lead to two touchdowns at 27 to 13 with just under three minutes to play. Here on second and 27, Winston is backed up and sacked for the second time by Aaron Donald. 27, 13, it's third and 41. Here's Jameis Winston from the gun, switching to get a receiver in the backfield with him. Here's Winston looking, he goes up the middle. That is complete to Alvin Kamara. But now a fourth and 27. Here's the throw, that is complete as well, but it does not go for a first down. A little bit of an arm punt, too short of an arm punt as it leaves the Rams a very short field. With 25 seconds, they run the football and it's a touchdown for Cam Akers. The 10th rushing touchdown for him of the season. The Rams come away with a 21 point home win, 34 to 13. 118 rushing yards, 261 passing yards. They only had one takeaway. They had two giveaways, but it didn't matter. Their offense played pretty well from 20 to 20. And they come away with the win. Jamal Carter, 24 of 33 for 267, a touchdown and two picks. Winston, 23 of 34 for 195, a touchdown and a pick. Akers with 104 and three touchdowns, beating out Kamara's 70. Cooper Cup had 122 on the day. Very, very nice game for him. Touchdown, of course, for Bryson Hopkins, and one for Lil Jordan Humphrey of the Saints. Defensively, there were two sacks for Alex Peterson, two sacks for Aaron Donald, and one for Daryl Cage. The pick for us came from John Johnson III. Peterson had a forced fumble. It wasn't recovered, however, but it's still a dub for us. As we take a look at the Week 6 uh, Finals, Obviously, we didn't get the win against Seattle, but doesn't seem like we lost a lot of ground in the division outside of that. Seattle loses in week seven as we get the victory, which you do love to see. Arizona lost as well. So we'll take a look at the standings. Texans atop the AFC South, AFC East belonging to the Patriots right now. Chiefs easily in the AFC West. NFC North, it is the Packers at 5-1. Saints lead the South at 4-3. Football team leads the East at 5-1. And, and the Seahawks are 5-1. They just picked up their very first loss this week. We're 4-2. And, and we get our second game against them to start off the next episode. So if you're excited for that, make sure you drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for the love of franchise content. And if you like franchise so much, you want more, make sure you click right here for some more franchise. I feel you face somehow